Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its controls. In today's video, we are going to learn about a transformer test that is a part of low voltage transformer testing series. So in today's video, we are going to see how we will measure the insulation resistance of the transformer that is commonly called as IR value test of a transformer. We have already completed a series on CT testing. So you can see various testings that are done on a current transformer and the description below is mentioned all the links. So you can check all the links for CT testing in description box below. Also we have covered few tests on low voltage testing of transformer. So in the description box you will get the links to all this low voltage testing as well. So friends up till now we have covered many low voltage testings of the transformer as already mentioned you can see in the description box all the links to previous tests that we have done and in today's video we are going to learn about transformer IR value test. So let us understand what is insulation resistance and how to measure the insulation resistance of any equipment. So friends first of all let us understand what is insulation resistance. So for that uh, let us assume that this is a current carrying medium over here. It can be any conductor, it can be anything that is carrying a current ok. It is any current carrying medium. So as you can see current is flowing through this medium and between this current carrying medium and earth there has to be some resistance because of which the current will not flow directly from this current carrying medium to earth ok so there has to be some amount of resistance now this resistance can be in form of any medium it can be formed in any form of a material say suppose it can be air it can be oil it can be porcelain it can be silicon rubber sf6 gas it can be plastic it can be paper some fiber material or it can also be a vacuum so basically any medium any material which will have some amount of resistance that will not allow this current to flow from this current carrying medium or equipment to earth directly right so this can be any medium or material now how do we decide what type of medium is to be used as insulation so that depends on the voltage if it is 2 volts suppose the potential over here is only 2 volts of this current carrying medium then air is sufficient as an insulation resistance as an insulating medium ok but if suppose the voltage levels are high say it is in kilo volts ok say it is higher uh, high voltage then based on different voltage levels you can use silicon rubber vacuum sf6 gas right and also based on its application if it is suppose it is a conductor that is placed inside some instrument then we have uh, paper insulators as we know inside the transformers ok then we have oil also porcelain also so based on the voltage levels basically the insulation medium is decided and second thing is its distance from the earth what is the distance between the current carrying medium and earth that distance also decides which insulation medium we are want to use ok so I think this is clear what is insulation resistance so resistance of this medium basically is called the insulation resistance and now let us see how to calculate the insulation how to measure the insulation resistance in any equipment over here we are having two equipments first one is the CT and the second one is the circuit breaker now let us first discuss about this current transformer 
the current in this current transformer path is like this okay so this is the primary and this is the secondary so there are different kinds of insulation in this ct as well the first one is the air that is surrounding this primary side to earth so you can see this there is air as insulation medium okay second is this porcelain part over here right next uh, you can see inside the winding this winding inside this ct it is covered with paper so there will be paper insulation and this entire current transformer is filled with oil this is oil filled equipment right so oil is also a uh, insulation medium it will also have insulation resistance right so we will measure all this uh, resist all this resistance of all the different kinds of insulations okay so we will measure we have to measure the uh, insulation resistance between this primary to earth okay next let us discuss about circuit breaker so in circuit breaker the current path is something like this okay so in this also there will be potential there will be voltage over here in the circuit breaker at the topmost part and at the middle part or you can say this is the bottom part of the circuit breaker so from here as there is a potential voltage over here and this is the current carrying path so from this path to the bottom of the breaker that is the earth okay we have to measure we have to measure the insulation resistance over here then there is this porcelain part for which you have to measure the resistance also uh, when the breaker is off okay when the circuit breaker is off the voltage will be there up to this topmost part of the circuit breaker so you have to measure the insulation resistance from topmost part to earth okay and whenever the circuit breaker is off this interrupter will be open okay and inside this interrupter there will be a sf6 gas filled inside so that is also one insulation medium so you have to measure the insulation resistance of that also so you will measure between the top part and this part okay so that's how you can measure insulation resistance of different equipments in today's video we are going to learn how to measure ir value for a transformer so friends there are different forms of transformer based on different types of windings first one is a delta star winding second is a star star winding transformer and the third very generally seen is the auto transformer so let us assume that th there is a transformer having a delta star winding right delta winding on the primary side and star winding is on the secondary side and suppose this this is the winding and this outer box that you can see over here is the tank or the body of the transformer okay now let us see how to measure between which faces or say between which winding and how to measure the insulation resistance so if it is a star delta star winding we will measure between hv winding and bottom uh, of the tank that is earth okay so first measurement will be hv to earth second measurement will be lv winding to earth star winding to earth okay and next measurement will be between hv and lv similarly for star winding star star transformer hv to earth lv winding to earth and hv to lv winding now in case of auto transformer as you can see friends the winding between the primary and secondary is common okay so we will have to take only single measurement for auto transformer that is hv winding to earth now let us understand let us see how we can actually measure the ir transformer for that we will require a instrument that is of meger company you can use any instrument we are considering over here a meger instrument okay and you can see there are different voltage levels so 
you can set voltage levels and then you will require this cords that will connect your IR value tester to your equipment that is the test equipment we are testing is in transformer today right so let us see for delta star transformer we will connect the cord from positive terminal to the HV winding okay and we will connect the negative terminal to the earth okay and we will set this for HV to earth right as you can see over here we will set this for 5 kV okay the mega is set for 5 kV and we will take two measurements for one minute we will take first measurement and for 10 minutes we will take the second measurement we require these two measurements in order to calculate the PI value of the transformer that is the polarization index ok now let us measure for one minute you can see it is 2.26 giga ohms this is the measurement for HV2 earth we will record this and we will take the second reading for 10 minutes for 10 minutes you can see over here the reading is 4.02 giga ohms we will again record this now the next reading that we require is between LV winding to earth ok so we will change this connection in the transformer and we will connect it to the LV winding bushing ok and again we will set it for 5 kV press the test button we have the reading for 1 minute that is 2.27 giga ohms for 10 minutes our reading will be 4.20 giga ohms now we will have third reading that is for HV to LV ok so we will change our connections accordingly from HV to LV see you can see the connections are done from HV to LV again we will set to 5 kV ok and we will take the measurement for 1 minute so for 1 minute we have got is 3.63 giga ohms second reading will be taken for 10 minutes for 10 minutes we have 7.18 giga ohms so friends you can see for delta star transformer we have seen we have to take three readings hv2 earth lv2 earth and hv2 lv winding similarly for star star transformer we will have three readings and in auto transformer we will have only single reading that is from hv2 earth now over here we have compiled the all the readings for HV2 earth applied voltage and values for 1 minute and 10 minutes and based on that we have calculated this PI polarization index ok and it is important to note that while measuring this IR values we have to note down the oil temperature winding temperature and outside atmosphere temperature as well because based on this temperature there might be variation in the IR values ok and also in the PI value right so this is how you will measure the insulation resistance of a transformer uh, if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section below keep watching our videos thank you